Hello Elves! I hope you're all having an amazing day. So, we are going to be talking about the Dick Grayson, Jason Todd switch in Batman vs Superman. Uh, for some reason the internet is reacting as if this is new information, <laughs> even though Zack Snyder quite a while ago shared that the Robin would be Dick Grayson and not Jason. So I'm going to tell you my feelings on it, whether I think it really matters, and we're also going to look at the Suicide Squad director's response to it all. <laughs> okay, so the defaced Robin costume in Batman v Superman uh, is Dick Grayson's according to the director Zack Snyder. Um, fine, <laughs> this is my reaction to it. Uh, normally the dead Robin is Jason Todd because he was killed by the Joker in a definite family and his death was this whole catalyst for Batman becoming darker I feel in my opinion and uh, it's such a good like chef kiss oh my god what a story anyway so traditionally Jason is the Robin killed by the Joker um, when I first watched Batman v Superman I assumed that this would be Jason and I got really happy because as you guys know, Jason is my favourite character <laughs> ever and I was just pumped. But Zack Snyder, the director, has said that that is meant to be Dick Grayson. And the only thing I can say about this is it's his vision at the end of the day. If he envisioned Dick Grayson being the dead Robin and that's how he foresaw the rest of the films going, he is the director, that is his vision. I am not going to knock him for that. My opinion is that it should have been Jason because I, they just need to do a good introduction of Jason Todd and then the Red Hood. Um, also, Ben Affleck's Batman is old, uh, and realistically he could have had a couple of Robins. He could have had maybe three, Dick, Jason, Tim. Maybe Tim would have been a Robin that figured out who Batman was and came on board. So that when Jason resurrects, there's the tension between those two but we haven't gone down that road. Also, doing it the normal way lets Dick Grayson be Nightwing and we can have Nightwing movies and also explains why he wasn't in Batman v Superman because he's off in Bloodhaven being Nightwing. So the Suicide Squad director has confirmed that all along Dick Grayson was meant to be the dead Robin, although there were some tweets where he said it was Jason Todd, but I don't know if they're real, even though I'm pretty sure they're real, but I don't know. Anyway, he confirms that it's meant to be Dick Grayson. Um, my problem is there's no story to go for after this that is solely a Dick Grayson story. They'd have to steal major elements of Jason's story if they were going to bring Dick back from the dead. And I have a problem with that because it takes away from Jason. If they want to add Jason to the DCEU in the future, his story is gone. <laughs> but obviously, like I said, Zack Snyder may have thought, I don't want Jason Todd in the DCEU, I just want Dick Grayson, this is how I'm going to do it, this is my plan, so on and so forth. Fine, fair enough. But if they were just doing this as a, ooh, let's twist it up, let's have Dick Grayson be the dead Robin, ooh, look, we're being twisty. <laughs> like a weird fucking family game of Twister. Then I have a problem with that because it doesn't look like they looked ahead to the future. Obviously, this might not matter because it is never confirmed in Batman v Superman, Suicide Squad, Justice League, the normal cut, that that is Dick Grayson. Apparently, there will be hints and a little bit of like added thing into the new Justice League cut that Dick Grayson is the dead Robin. But if that is not canonical anymore, it doesn't matter, that could have been Jason. I don't know if Zack's making any more movies, I feel like it really is riding on the director's cut. If this director's cut does as well as the fans want it to, he'll be brought back, no doubt. If it doesn't, I don't see him making any more DCEU movies, unless he's signed on for any, I'm not, I don't think he has. But my point is, future directors, and the big people at Warner Brothers, can ultimately override his de decision to make this Dick Grayson and to have it be Jason Todd. I am not against having this be Jason Todd, I'm just annoyed. I would be annoyed if they went down the Dick Grayson route and gave all of these really impactful storylines from Jason, Resurrection, The Lazarus Pit, building himself back together to Dick. You know, it'd just be a shame. <laughs> Also, there has been rumours, and I think something on Twitter, I'm not too sure, um, that a 
apparently Zach wanted to go to Carrie Kelly next. This is confusing to me, like I said, I'm not the director, but it's confusing to me because he skipped so many Robins. <laughs> and it's a, a weird Robin, and it's not the traditional lineup. And I don't want it to be, I don't, obviously I don't know, but I don't want it to be, we're going to do Carrie Kelly because she can be the first female Robin in a live adaptation of whatever. I don't want it to be solely because they want to be like, oh my god, feminism, yeah, let's have a female Robin. Story matters, okay? <laughs> if you want to have a Dick Grayson and then Jason Todd and then Tim and then Damien, whatever or not, and then bring in a female Robin, it'll be so much more impactful because we've never seen a female Robin before. Whereas in this, I'm getting it overweight, stop. <laughs> in this universe, if we've just had Dick Grayson and then we have Carrie Kelly, it's not, to me, it's not so impactful. <laughs> that man doesn't care if you're a girl or a boy. He just cares that you can fight <laughs> at the end of the day. If his vision was Dick Grayson dead, Carrie Kelly's the next one, skip all the Robins in between, they never existed in this universe, fine, brilliant. But I... just a shame <laughs> that Jason wouldn't be included. <sighs> so I ran over, I'm gonna go lie down. <laughs> you guys know if you are subscribed to this channel that Jason Todd is my favourite character and I don't mind Jason Todd in Titans. I think first season Jason Todd, spot on. Second season, everyone turned against him in the second season for no apparent reason and it really bugged me. I think they're going for a Red Hood storyline soon and I think it's a bit too soon because we haven't even got to know him as Jason and I would really like to see him on the big screen and I, at the end of the day I have no say in this, this is just an opinion video. I'd love Jason Todd to be in the movies but I understand a director's vision and I understand that Maybe Zach didn't want Jason, he just wanted Dick carry. Amazing. Your vision is your vision. But if he is not making any more movies, there's no way in that movie that I don't think anyway that alludes to that being Dick Grayson. So you could bring Dick Grayson back as Nightwing, make future films. You can bring Jason Todd back as Red Hood make future films. That's just my opinion. I just wanted to do this little video to address the subject because I think it's a weird one that people are reacting like this is brand new information because I I've known about this for a while <laughs> and even though I would really love it to be Jason, at the end of the day I have no say in anything. So making these type of videos makes me feel better because it makes me feel like we can have like a conversation. Maybe you want it to be Dick Grayson dead, so that when he comes back in future films, or even if they do a prequel, like, you want it to be Zack Snyder's work. I get it. I just... Really, I think it's because I'm so invested in Jason's storyline that I'm like, right, this is how you do it. He starts here, he ends here, he becomes someone new here. And if that's not followed, I get frustrated. And if it's given to a new character, I get frustrated. <laughs> I also think it doesn't really matter who the dead Robin is at the end of the day because it's a film and there'll be new adaptations of the, the Batman characters in 10, 15, 20 years so Jason will have his shot on the big screen eventually and so will Dick if he's not in these videos. Videos? Movies? Movies. <laughs> anyway I hope you liked this video it was super ranty I'm sorry I did actually have like structured bullet points to follow but I didn't, <laughs> if you couldn't tell. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, let me know down below what you think. Do you, are you kind of interested to see this fresh take on the Jason storyline being given to Dick? Or do you want it to be traditional? Let me know. Subscribe to my channel because I do videos like this every single week and click that bell down below if you want to be notified when I upload. I have social media that you can follow, they're down below in the description. I am hopefully going to be doing a Umbrella Academy recap. Now, <laughs> this is actually more difficult than I thought it was going to be, it is character by character. So it'd be Lufa, Diego, Allison, Klaus, Five, Ben, Vanya. Their recap it is a character by character re recap, so to get it you'd have to know the show. Um, but I'm struggling with it because I can't find any clips from the show to use. <laughs> 
so that's a bit of a hurdle. Anyway, click that bell, subscribe if you want to be stay tuned for that. Uh, video suggestions down below, and I will see you next time. Bye, Lowells.